Hi everybody and welcome back to McNulty's Bookerel. You know, in addition to the Winchesters and Colts that I have uh, uh, piled up here in my armory, uh, I also have a medieval sword. And here it is. This is a Teutonic sword. Uh, I know you can't see the whole thing. Uh, it's about 30 some inches long. And it has the uh, Knight's Cross on it here. Uh, and uh, this is a... Uh, it's a beautiful old sword. I thought I'd show you this to you today. This is a uh, great, great weapon to have uh, from back in the day. Uh, one of numerous swords I have in my collection. And uh, since I'm showing you this sword today, I wanted to show you a uh, series of books where they would use a sword like that. And that would be James Wilde's Hereward series. Here is the first volume. This is a hardcover from the UK. Now there are American editions out from this series. Um, I don't have them. All of my editions are UK editions published by the Bantam uh, imprint from England, not from the United States. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because the United States editions, the US editions, change the titles, which really irritates me. And if I, they see this, shame on you. It just confuses everybody. So these are the UK editions. I'm going to show you the six volumes in order that you should read them. So the first one, what a great cover, huh? The uh, first one is um, it's just called Hereward, which is the legendary folk hero from uh, the United Kingdom. And that's the first one to read. And it was followed by uh, the Devil's Army. And here he is with a sword very similar to what I have. Um, and so I'm recommending this entire series, six-volume series, um, here word the devil's army by James Wilde. I've talked about James Wilde in a previous episode He's really Mark Chadbourne and uh, That's this is his pen name. He publishes under his real name as well as the pen name of James Wilde He is a remarkable versatile and talented writer uh, In the United Kingdom and I just am a huge fan when he publishes something I buy it uh, Because he's just a great writer. So the second volume the devil's army Read these in order for the greatest historical fantasy you'll have read in many, many years. Really, uh, highly recommended. The third volume is End of Days. He has a different weapon here. Uh, kind of cool. And uh, so these medieval weapons, by the way, are just as effective as anything else. So there's the first three. After the first three, the, the story changes somewhat, and he changes locations. But uh, it's just a riveting and fascinating tale about a... Uh, a legendary folk hero. There actually was someone named Hereward or something like that. Wolves of New Rome is the fourth volume. And there he is back with the bow, the long bow, uh, in this. Great riveting action. These, these are gritty, gritty, really gritty and tough writing in these books. Um, and here is, uh, this is the fifth, uh, Hereward, the Immortals. And there he is again, back with a sword in his hand okay so like that one i have um gosh i just love these books i mean they were just fantastic held my attention throughout i never got tired of the character really a, he's a, the, the character is a combination the way he's written here between conan the barbarian and robin hood okay so the final volume as of today is the bloody crown i don't know if there will be any more um so if you're interested in some really tough as nails let's say tough as iron gritty tough um medieval style fantasy where uh you had to have a sharp sword to keep yourself going i'm recommending the uh the hereward series by james wild uh so track these down you know check on amazon i know in the united states they're available again they have different titles i hate that you'll have to figure out for yourself what they are but i've given you the rundown uh, on the order, so it would be Hereward, The Devil's Army, uh, End of Days, Wolves of New Rome, The Immortals, and The Bloody Crown are the six uh, volumes from the UK that I have. And that, my friends, is what they call fantastic fiction, all right? Really imaginative and fantastic. So until next time, I'll see you along the bloody trail. <laughs>